Yeah, there's a lot of buzz about these Asian giant hornets. Right now during the spring season, the Washington State Department of Agriculture is setting up traps to catch hornet queens, but it's really going to ramp up its efforts come this summer by setting up traps to capture hornet workers and is urging the public to do the same. The Washington State Department of Agriculture is asking for the public's help in trapping the Asian giant hornet after two sightings were reported last December near Blaine. The invasive hornet is a deadly predator to honeybees. Just a handful of hornets can destroy a hive in an hour and a half. And like the average time is 105 minutes. The hornets are not known to bother people or pets, but they will attack if they feel threatened. It's not known how they got here, but most likely hitched a ride on a cargo ship between Asia and North America. The Department of Agriculture is urging the public to report any sightings. The Asian giant hornets are usually one and a half to two inches long with a large orange or yellow head and prominent eyes, black and yellow striped abdomen, and they form large colonies that usually nest in the ground. Back in April, the Department of Agriculture set up 60 sap traps in Whatcom County to attract queens that emerge in the spring and feed on sap. And this summer, it will set up traps in 330 more sites. The department is also asking beekeepers and residents to set up bottles traps using an experimental lure of orange juice and rice cooking wine, particularly in Whatcom, Skagit, Island, San Juan, Jefferson and Clallam counties at the beginning of July and keep them up through October. Looney says the hope is for the traps to identify hornet's nests so they can be eradicated. A researcher at Washington State University just started doing a preliminary what we call species distribution model where you, you take where a species is known to live, um, you look at the environmental variables that are correlated with it and then predict where it might be uh, when it's in a new habitat. Uh, we do that a lot for invasive species modeling to know if we need to be concerned and what we might do. This one suggests that a lot of North America will be good habitat for the wasp if we can, or for the hornet if we can control it. So, so eradication is really our focus. There's no reason why it won't like Seattle as much as Blaine. And if you'd like to set up a trap or report a sighting, we've got instructions on how to do so on our website from the Department of Agriculture. Live in Seattle, Grace Slim, Q13 News. Welcome.